Is this thing focused? Hi guys, today we'll be doing my February favorites. I have a lot of things that I want to show you guys that I have been loving this month. Most of the things are from my past Ulta haul and other hauls that I have done. So if you are interested in watching, then stay tuned. The first product that I have been loving so much is my Rimmel London Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation. And I'm on the shade 200 Soft Beige. This is an amazing foundation. I don't know why I haven't tried it before and I have been using it every single day. It is the best foundation ever. It's my new favorite. It makes my skin super hydrated. It's medium to full coverage. Actually, I just put one coat and a half and I'm good to go. Usually with other foundations, I love to cake it up because I don't feel that they cover me as well but this one has amazing coverage it definitely lasts on my skin the entire day I don't know if it lasts 25 hours because I don't think I have ever worn a foundation for 25 hours but I have been using it for long periods of time and it has met my standards then the second product that actually goes with that is my real techniques sponge I think it's called like that and it's super dirty so don't mind that this is the best thing ever invented in the entire world okay that's a little bit too much but it is the best thing for me I actually love it more than the beauty blender yeah shocker I love that it has uh, different shapes to it a flat shape here and like an ovally shape here for like the under eyes or whatever I use this to like of course to apply my foundation and my concealer and then the flat top I use it to powder my face it works perfectly like that it gives my skin a flawless finish and I'm so happy I purchased this and then the next product that I have is my NYX HD concealer this stuff is great. It has a thick consistency and it's definitely full coverage. I use this under my eyes, not for highlighting because I really got it close to my shade and my shade is a uh, beige. I really love this. It works perfectly for covering my blemishes. It doesn't look cakey at all, so that's always a plus. The next thing I have is this BH Liquid Eyeliner. It is a felt tip applicator. I don't usually gravitate towards uh, felt tip eyeliners but I have been enjoying this one. I don't think it's waterproof but it doesn't have to be because it lasts on my eyes the entire day. I can sweat, I even wash my face and it really takes a long time for me to take this off. So that says a lot about this product and it is super black and pigmented. I love it. I have been using it every single day. I actually forgot about my, about my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner and that has been my favorite for months. Next thing that I have been loving is my Lorac Pro 2 palette. I finally got this palette. Actually, my boyfriend gave it to me for Valentine's Day and the colors are life. I mean, they are extremely amazing. I actually am wearing it right now. Use this blue color, which is navy. All over my lid, I used LT Brown on my crease and also Cool Gray. And I used Silver on my lower lash line. I have been enjoying this palette so much. And it is the only palette I have used this month. So it is fantastic. I love it so much. And the colors are super pigmented, as you all may know, Lorac eyeshadows are the bomb.com. Next thing that I have been loving is this St. Ives Blemish Control Apricot Scrub. This stuff is amazing. Um, as I mentioned on my Ulta haul, I got it because my friend Pretty Girl Jenny20, also known as Jenny, here on YouTube, she actually... Um, mentioned this scrub and she loves it so I decided to pick it up and I definitely do not regret it because it really makes my skin super soft 
and clean and refreshed and I don't think it does stuff for my pores which I don't have that many pores but I can see less pores I mean it's not like a extreme change but it does help my skin be more hydrated and soft and it definitely helps with my breaking out issues because I have been breaking out a bit but ever since I used this um, I don't feel that my skin has been acting up and the last thing that I have been loving is this Triderma Eczema Fast Healing Face and Body Lotion I don't know if I've told you this maybe I mentioned it on a video I have a skin condition called eczema so I have dry patches on my skin I usually get them on my neck and on my arms I actually don't have dry patches right now with me or around my eyes and it is so annoying I have tried everything I mean everything and nothing seems to help my dry skin or my eczema so I purchased this I believe in Walmart like a couple of months ago and at first I did not use it as much but this month I started to use it a little bit more mostly on my neck and it definitely heals my dry patches I mean I've had my eczema like all around my neck and it's not pretty I use this twice a day in the morning and afternoon and it definitely healed most of my dry patches and I have been using it around my nose because that's where I get a little bit dry as well and on my arms just a bit you don't need that much because a little goes a long way and the consistency is super thick and it does wonders. So this month I decided to do something different. I'm going to mention my top three favorite YouTubers. I'm going to mention the smaller YouTubers, not the Beauty Baby 44 or Nicole Guerrero, something like that. Not those. I'm going to start by giving shout outs to a couple of ladies that I have been enjoying this month, I think this is a great way to support one another and just to give a shout out and show my love for you guys. So this is in no particular order. I just I'm just going to mention the girls that I have been watching non-stop for the past month. So the first one is one of my best friends, is Andrea Cristel, something like that. I'm sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. I'm not good with pronouncing stuff. She does amazing makeup tutorials. Her tutorials are extremely flawless. She does a lot of tutorials, of course, get ready with me's, reviews, favorites. Uh, she gives amazing product recommendations and she deserves a lot more subscribers. We have been friends ever since I started my YouTube channel. She's great. She has the nice heart and I love her so much so go and check her out the next girl that I have been loving is Kaylee Lagunero something like that I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong I'm just going to just put it right here and I will leave their links down below she does amazing videos she has a lot of amazing variety of videos as well she does reviews fitness tips health tips beauty tips everything that you can imagine she has in her channel uh, her videos are short and sweet but really informative as well she gives also the best product recommendations the best reviews her channel is amazing and she is extremely beautiful so go and check her out and the last girl that i have been loving is nikki murphy she is such a gem she's extremely honest real she doesn't care what other people think she is not afraid to show her true colors she is extremely amazing she does amazing variety of videos as well she has reviews makeup tutorials uh one of her favorite series that i love is i hauled it but did i like it that's my favorite because she hauls things and then she comes back and reviews them for us that's great because not everybody does that and I feel that it really helps us out if you want to try things as well 
she is just amazing and she's not afraid to confront people that are hating on her or anything she's just great and go and check them out they're all three are amazing so those were all my favorites for this month and my favorite girls that I have been watching for the month of February I'm going I'm thinking of doing these shout out videos each month because I love supporting everybody and commenting on their videos it might I might seem a little annoying commenting on everybody's videos but I love to watch I love to watch videos and I love to support others so yeah please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in my next one bye